Well, let's go ahead and get started on the lab experiment measurement and uncertainty. Um, and this is a video that just tells you everything that you need to have. I've got my lab procedure here, and uh, it's pages one through seven that I've got stapled together. Uh, the rest of the pages where the data will go, I've got stapled separately. And I like to do that because then I can flip through my procedure and still write on it with uh, and see them at the same time. Now, um, if you flip to page four, it's got a list of the things that you'll need. And it says under chemical samples that you need Hershey's Kisses, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, or any other small and yet greater than two gram sample. And uh, I've got a variety of things that will work. So I'm going to be using uh, Hershey uh, milk chocolate little tiny bars here. And you can see that each of them is about 10 grams, although I will end up putting them in uh, beakers. Uh, when I do the actual lab. And for this, um, I've got some uh, peanut butter filled pretzels. So they work well. I can put one of those on here. Does that smell good? And each of those is more than two grams. I'm going to beat that. Another thing that I found that works well are tea bags, still greater than two grams. And I happen to have more than uh, two of them. And well, more than five of them, which is what I need. And if I put this on and I use an almond, almonds do not work. And Cheerios definitely do not work. So find something that's more than five grams per item. And uh, there are a wide variety of things that you can find. It doesn't have to be a food item. Um, just has to be something that's more than two grams per item and that you have five, uh, at least five of. Now, deionized water, deionized water. Well, that's what you'd use if we were in a chemistry lab. I have tap water here. And, it's, uh, and you should get 200 milliliters in a 250 milliliter beaker. Two, more than 200, a little more or a little less than 200 is okay. Uh, we're just using this beaker to hold the water. Uh, we'll be doing measurements with it in something else. A food box with sharp corners. I chose honey made uh, graham crackers and you can choose any box besides this one because I am going to actually go through the calculations with you. And you, you, sh you can choose anything except the same little bars that I'm doing here because I am going to go through all the calculations and you have to do something different. Now, other materials, you need a 250 milliliter beaker. Well, that's holding my water. You need a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. That's right here. You need a 50 milliliter beaker. That I've got right here. You need a metric ruler, and the metric ruler that I'd like you to have is actually one of the paper ones from your Chem 300 uh, materials, online lab materials kit, because I know exactly how these work. They come in a full page, and I've cut one of them out, and let's see, oh, and a scale, and you can see my scale right here that I've asked you to purchase for the lab. Other ones work well, but the key ingredients for the scale is that they have to have two decimal places. If your scale does not have two decimal places and does not weigh at least, this says 220, but at least 200 grams, then you need a different scale and get in touch with me about uh, making sure that, that you've got the required materials if there are any questions. Those are the required materials uh, for this lab.